Chickadee dee 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 dee. Chickadees all over the place here this morning. How are you doing? We're in finch season and uh, I know we've talked about it before. I know it's on our YouTube and all that kind of stuff, but we just really wanted to go over. Uh, we're kind of working on some of our uh, seed products and stuff. So we really just wanted to talk about uh, the finches and, and our niger seed and our wild finch blend. Makes a huge difference. So we have all kinds of people all the time coming in the store and saying, I never get any finches, I never get any finches. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for it. Uh, obviously we're very biased against our seed product, our niger seed for instance. It's clean, shiny, not dusty, doesn't smell moldy, it smells fresh, a whole bunch of reasons for that. First thing is it's brought in from India, all niger seed comes from India. This is uh, black oil niger seed, it's part of the sunflower seed family. Uh, it's brought in in bulk into Ontario, it's packaged here in Ontario. So it's it's not put in a plastic bag in India and, and put in a container and then brought all the way over here. And by the time it gets here, it's moldy. Um, so we can't talk about all the other uh, produce uh, people that produce uh, the seed and, and, and package it. But what we do is uh, we work feverishly to ensure freshness and the very highest quality seed product available. And Niger is and our wild finch blend is no different from that. So it's packaged here in, high, in Ontario, put in a biodegradable bag. It's clean, it's put through a cleaner, it's very fresh, it's very high quality. It makes a huge difference in your feeders. So all the finches, we're talking, we're starting to get some reports now uh, on some uh, common red poles, some pine siskins. Uh, I know some people have seen some pine gross beaks in some areas where they, they will uh, house and stuff, but uh, the, the black oil niger seed makes a huge difference. If you really want to do something for yourself, get yourself one of these things too. Uh, it has a little flap in here. You push that across and there's a hole all the way through it. You can see that. <laughs> see? And then you close it when you want to fill it. So then you fill it up. Fill your niger seed feeder. Works a treat. Check that out. Try one of those. So our black oil niger seed, part of the sun, black oil sunflower seed. It's a part of the sunflower seed family, uh, very high quality, very high protein, very high uh, uh, food value, and very high consumer value. And we also have a wild finch blend. Uh, this is uh, also uh, very high quality. It has, has black oil niger seed in it. It has a red and white proso millets. It has wild canary seed and some dried fruit seeds like raspberry seeds and those kinds of things in it. Again, very dedicated toward all the finches. So you'll see I have a couple of finches feeders around me here. I actually have five finch tubes uh, in my yard. Uh, and in the mornings we'll have 30, 40, 50, 60 uh, American goldfinch here. We have yet to see any pine siskins and those kinds of things, but they're on our way because they're in the neighborhood and around. You can hear some birds chirping up above me here. I got some goldfinches uh, hanging around saying, wish you'd get out of the way so I could go to those feeders. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, we've, we've talked about the finch feeders and stuff before, uh, but you know, nylon perch covers over top of them. Um, vented all through the food port so the black oil niger seed stays very, very warm. And uh, it's, it's a fantastic uh, feeder. It's all polycarbonate plastic so the holes where the food port is, never gets altered by the birds. And some of the lesser plastics and stuff, it gets bigger and then all the Niger stuff has fallen out. Um, very easy to fill. It's the thing at the top to uh, clean. I'll just put this back on here because I don't want to dump all this out in the ground. But put that upside down. I always do that too. Just give that a little aeration and put that upside down and then we'll just pop that out to clean it. It has that little bridge on the inside. See that little bridge there? It forces the seed out to the food port so that it doesn't all compact in the center and get all wet and, and get all moldy and stuff. And then the food ports are vented. So if we're just gonna demonstrate a little of uh, this little feeder here. So there we go, we got the, this filled up. There's our niger seed tube. And Bingo was his name. <laughs> Perfect. 
Black oil Niger seed works 100% for all of the finches. Chickadees love it. In the summertime, you'll often you can see an indigo bunting go on it. Um, sometimes you'll, the, the uh, with the chickadees and all that kind of stuff, they interact. So there's uh, all kinds of chickadees and stuff on. You can disperse your feeders around. It, you don't necessarily have to have any squirrel solutions because the squirrels don't particularly care for it. Sometimes the chipmunks and that kind of stuff, but it's not a necessary thing. Anyway. Makes a huge difference on your on your number of finches you'll have to your yard. Try our black oil sunflower seed or our wild finch blend. I know you'll enjoy it. Or shut that.